I'm Shia Strux, CEO of Urban Pads. We do apartment rentals in Brooklyn. We're located on Rogers Avenue between St. Mark's and Prospect in Crown Heights. Your average renter in Bushwick, bed and truly most of Brooklyn is either a single young professional, a young professional with a roommate, looking for a studio, looking for one bedroom, a couple who wants their first apartment. There's just so many three bedrooms and four bedrooms and that's why a lot of them are sitting vacant. So here's some advice as to how to deal with your vacant three, four bedrooms. Well, firstly, try to make sure they don't get vacant. What does that mean? That means if you have a three bedroom or four bedroom or definitely a five bedroom where roommates are telling you that they're considering to move out, negotiate with them, talk to them, reason with them, see if you can keep them, maybe give them a little bit of a rent credit. I feel like the market on some of these units obviously depends what unit, but it can be, it can have lowered as significantly as 10 to 15 to even 20% from your last rental price. So try not to let them go. Offer them incentives. Tell them you'll, pay them, you'll have them pay the same rent or maybe even lower. And if they, if they tell you that one of their roommates uh, is moving out, say, okay, stay, I'll find you another roommate or I'll let you find another roommate. Try to find the next roommate for the apartment. Ask a broker to find an extra roommate rather than needing to fill up the entire apartment. Another thought, if you're looking at doing a gut renovation on a property or better yet, looking at developing something, try to avoid the three, four bedrooms when possible. A large two bedroom, a large one bedroom can get you a nice return on investment. Um, obviously every area is different without going into numbers, but you may find that throwing in that extra bedroom uh, at this point might be hurting you because the two bedroom market is strong for a beautiful two bedroom and one bedroom product. People are willing to pay. Okay, moving on. I mentioned fee and no fee apartments. Currently in neighborhoods like Crown Heights, Bushwick, Bed-Stuy, Lefferts Gardens, Ditmas, most units are being listed as no fee. Now, if it's a large pre-war one or two bedroom, there are units that are being listed as fee units and they are getting rented, but you will be getting lower rent. It may take longer to rent. And there are many people who will not rent from you because they have no fee apartments that they could be renting. Instead, the agent will, so, will show them a couple places, five no fee apartments, two fee apartments. And you can imagine uh, that this makes a difference in the decision that the renter will eventually make. Something I want to talk about is incentives, one month free, half a month free, one and a half months free, two months free. Um, I've seen this specifically with new construction, uh, but truly I'm, I'm seeing this all around where landlords want to up the numbers on the rent as high as possible and are willing to throw in a month or free month, half month, two months free and advertise the apartment with a lower net rent. My opinion, no fee apartments is the way to go. Let the tenant not pay the uh, broker fee. Put your apartment at a price uh, that's reasonable and get it rented that way. Some tenants, when they see the month free, get excited, especially if they're younger and not so experienced. But the people who have been around the block once or twice, which is the majority of the Brooklyn renters at this point, they see the incentive and they know that they're going to be stuck with a uh, higher rent on a monthly basis and higher monthly expenses and that next year the spot for negotiating is going to start at the higher rent and are turned away. Please give me feedback on this video. Send me your questions. What's on your mind? What would you like me to talk about in my next video?